All right, guys, so this is my 900 STX engine I'm gonna be doing crank seals on. What I have here is a tool that I made. So this fits right into these slots, just like that. And then I got a one and an eighth in inch socket that I can put on there. And so I'm gonna try to get this sucker off, loosened up. Um, I got a nice thick rag in there. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah! Nice. Good deal. I thought there's supposed to be some type of O-ring around here, but all right, so as you can see here, let me get better light, a little bit better light. See all that oil down at the bottom there? That's where it's from. So we got new crank seals coming. So I figured, you know what? Let's just go ahead and alleviate the whole problem. Once we get those off, we got the other side off. There are two on this side. This one keeps the water out, and then the other one is facing the other way to keep the oil in. So you got a little bit of a barrier there. So then what I'll do is I'll just drill a couple pilot holes, drill some screws in there, and yank her out. So that's it. Just feel like I uh, just wanted to show you guys my attempt it was successful praise god not too bad so as you can see it works um what else is gonna... you all right so i drilled a couple of pilot holes oh one there one there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a couple of screws in there. Okay, this one might be the big lip. The thing is, is that if almost looks like this is going inside, now that I'm looking at it, like there's actually a metal lip that goes in there. 
so dun 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 so I think that's gonna be a deciding factor folks okay looks like I'm gonna have to split it I think so we'll be back Just about freed up. Oh my gosh, what a freaking mess. Oh man, really. Yep, I definitely was repaired. Gosh, this is just so dirty. That's like the biggest part. It's cleaning up the mess and prep. Getting everything ready to put back together. So. All right, so that's that. We got our seals. Now, let's go see if the local shop can hook us up. I got numbers. Well, let's see. This one's got a number on it. And they might not even have them. Come on, 
focus. You can see them right there. Right there. That one says 1229. This one says SDC 35. 8084, 8.5. So I'm thinking 35, 80, and then the lip is 84. So a 2 millimeter lip all the way around. And the brand is TNT. Let's see this one. Oh, we do got numbers. Nice. Okay, we're more TNT. We have. Hmm, let's see. Got some crap on it. This one says, looks like eight fifty eight. Okay, so 858 SSDC 30, 72, 10, and 2. So it's probably got a one millimeter lip on it. Also TNT. And the last one, which, gosh, this thing was covered in grease. Awesome, TNT. Okay, so we're at 1228. What was this one? 1229? Yeah, 1220. So this one's 1228. Also 35 inner, 80 outer, 6 thickness, and a 1 millimeter lip. Oh, actually, that one's more like a half millimeter lip, I would think, because it says 1. Well, no, no, no. It would say 81 then. Because this one's 80, 84. It's 80 outer diameter. And then the lips outer diameter is 84. This one is 72, 10 by 2. I don't know. I'm getting confused here, I think. That's 8.5 wide. Yeah, I don't understand that. I'm off. This one may be... That looks like more than two millimeters though. Difference in thickness. So, either way, we'll figure it out. Uh, Alright, I'm going to wash up and go see what we can find. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to put the crank seals in. These tabs are all cleaned up, ready to go. says to make sure that the nubs right here face inside on the front. And I got marine grease here. Doesn't I don't think it really even matters being on the inside like this, but Fill this, pack this lip right here full of grease.
right, got her all torqued down. Sorry, I had to stop and go transfer some video to my computer. So the next step here is to start putting the uh, Coupler is 98. This is my little tool that I made. It's a, an inch and an eighth bolt. I mean, I'm sorry, not. There we go. That's 98 pounds right there. Let's double check it. Just in case. And then I, I move this just so it puts the most torque on the closest portion of the crank. Your gear. And look at all the junk on this thing, man. Yeah. That. Make sure you got your thrust bear, your thrust washer. Shaft free of any oil or grease, no metal particles, anything like that. So inspect the inside of this flywheel very carefully. Got my little car to torque values here. We are looking at 95 foot pounds. Ooh, red Loctite for the flywheel bolt. So we're gonna get the flywheel on first. And when I put bolts in, I put the Loctite on the top, and that way if it does go down, or if it does drip down, it ends up going on the rest of the threads. That, I believe, is a 14 millimeter. Back this off from 98 to 95. So 
right. And the flywheel housing. All cleaned up and pretty, I must say, I must sew myself. I am going to put just a smear of this stuff on here. Just to be safe. It's actually 69 nanometers again, or inch pounds, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Little tiny smear of grease on a shaft here. It's a little bit on the rust washer surface. It's all nice and clean now. I'm just gonna make sure we get the it's that piece, a little slot in there. It sticks out, it's got a line with the bolt for the flywheel. Holder here. couple more hours and the bearing, the main drive shaft bearing will be completely cured. 
All right, so now we're putting the cover back on here. A little bit of Loctite on the knees. Silicone. Smear this on again. Very careful that this doesn't slip off. And you want to twist that so it doesn't hit anything else. All right. That. We are just about good to go, guys. I wish I would have had the injection pump out, but I do not. Okay, I'm going to put this in and I will bring you guys back buttoning it up.
So I'm gonna start putting pieces on and get this done. All right, got the crank seals in this morning. And uh, it's doing good. It's about five o'clock now. We got out here around 12. No problems the whole time. So we're getting ready to leave. This is Orchard Lake, 4th of July, 2020. Lots of party barges going on. Ha ha. That's got a slide. Look at that. That's crazy. thing I'm gonna get is this gauge I just have to find a, a real nice good one I'm gonna get some piece of crap that's the 98 1100 it needs a gauge too its gauge works but it doesn't report the fuel it reports the fuel um, instead of giving eight bars when I fill it up it goes to only halfway and then when I use a quarter of it it'll go down a bar so it's a little weird and then the uh, the oil oil seems to report off and on correctly so that's gonna need a new one too so hopefully we'll be able to find a good deal on two of them and go from there but 